Nature is highly complex and the only prediction you can make is that she is incalculable. The amazing unpredictability of nature is what makes it marvelous and mysterious. This is what chaos theory looks at. To simplify and further explain this phenomenon, one of the early pioneers in chaos theory, Edward Lorenz, an American mathematician and meteorologist, coined the butterfly explanation, or popularly known as the butterfly, the butterfly effect. effect. Proven in 1963, the theory implies that in some part of the world, an action as small as a butterfly flapping its wings might create tiny changes in the atmosphere, which would eventually lead to drastic ups and downs in the environment, causing events as catastrophic as a hurricane in a completely different part of the world. Had the butterfly not flapped its wings, the trajectory of the system might have been vastly different. Let us illustrate this with some existing patterns. Early October 1907, a young man takes the entrance examination to the Vienna Academy of Fine Arts. Of 133 initial applicants, only 28 pass. This man is not one of them. Fueled with rage, when he asked the examining board for an explanation, they said that his drawings lacked an artistic inclination. Little did they know, this man was an anti-Semite and would eventually go on to become the Chancellor of Germany, turning him into one of the major factors at beginning the Holocaust and the Second World War. Adolf Hitler. In 1962, American scientists and military experts feared what might happen in the event of a Soviet attack on the nation's telephone system. A computer scientist named J.C.R. Licklider proposed a solution to this problem. A galactic network of computers that could talk to one another. Little did they know, this idea would eventually be transformed and used for sharing information, entertainment, social networking, etc. by more than 2 billion people today. The World Wide Web. And if only one thing had happened differently, if the Americans were not paranoid about the Soviets, or if Hitler wasn't rejected from art school, it might have been an altered world we would be living in today. Now, how far back could you go in your life to show whose move at what time sparked a series of events that led up to you watching this video, making you what you are today. There are generations yet unborn whose very lives will be shaped and shifted by what you do today or tomorrow and the next day. Because everything you do matters.